So guys, uh, great to meet you. Um, first question, I guess, can you explain who you play in the film and how you kind of fit into the storyline? Well, I play Katara, and she's a waterbender from the Southern Water Tribe, and she's Soka's younger sibling, or little sister. sister. And um, she has a big heart, and she cares for Ong, this little boy we find in the ice, and we take him in as her family. And she's really physically and mentally strong. She definitely kicks butt in this movie. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I, I play her older brother, Soka, who is a, uh, you know, a... Um, I, a young man with kind of a warrior's heart. He's been left in charge of the Southern Water Tribe ever since their mother was taken away by the Fire Nation and his father went off to fight. So, uh, you know, him and his little sister, they, you know, have definitely a really strong relationship. They kind of, you know, tease each other a lot and, you know, just like siblings do. Um, <laughs> but, you know, when they do discover this boy, this uh, long-lost avatar, they go on a, a journey to really kind of... Uh, you know, save the world, hopefully, and uh, they become uh, a rebel leader over the course of the film. And you know, uh, there's a lot of there's a, like huge character development. You know, he goes from being just kind of an anxious young man to really wanting to you know fight the Fire Nation at every beck and call to really kind of discovering you know these different tactical ways to go about winning a war. You know, and, and how that is. And I mean, for a 17 year old, 18 year old like warrior, that's uh, you know staring uh, you know death in the face and all fighting all these uh, these these Fire Nation soldiers who are able to manipulate fire is, is uh, you know, it's death defying and it's, uh, they're, you know, it's, they're always in imminent danger. Mm. Obviously, the, uh, I guess making it kind of, uh, there's so many special effects and stuff, I guess, what kind of did you feel when you saw the finished thing? Because I guess you didn't really know what was going on around you much of the time. <laughs> well, we had a really good idea of what was going on around us, you know, between night and the special effects guys and we the producers. We had all these storyboards that it would literally like take bits of each seed and just show you what was going on and mm. that, yeah. Knight definitely talked to us, uh, talked to us about it a lot and he always explained it to us. Definitely, and it was uh, it was incredible to see what ILM did at the end of the day because you know it's industrial lights and magic, and mm -hmm. I mean, it's George Lucas's company, and it's truly magic. We actually got to screen it at the Skywalker Ranch, which was a dream come true for yeah. a cinephile like myself. Well, um, are you kind of a bit disappointed as well that you don't have any bending abilities because Katara has, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Katara obviously you got amazing water powers Bend and water at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> That's not very nice, is it? But no, um, is no, the no. scope for him to maybe move on and get that in future films, or can he be taught? No, how to I mean do it it's the, it's his character. You know, it's one of those things. Like only a, a chosen few uh, have the gift to manipulate the native element, and uh, you know, I was never really too worried about it. I think one of the cool things about about Soka, they would just tease him all the time. On <laughs> yeah, they would tease me all the time. They didn't have any special powers. But I would tease them back and be like, yeah, well, I don't need any special powers to keep up with you guys. So look at me. You know, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting away scot free. When you put it free. that way. You yeah, have a boomerang, kind of though, so you can master the boomerang, I guess. No one else can do that. Definitely. Yeah. I did a lot of uh, stick fighting training um, and martial arts training, uh, specializing in kung fu and the goom lex style, which is power fist form. Mm. Uh, Knight's daughter as well, apparently. She's a massive fan of uh, Katara, so do you feel extra pressure to kind of make sure you, you do this all right for, for her? Well, mm -hmm. his daughters are, are my best friends now, and I love them so much. And uh, they definitely, they came to set a lot, and we would always talk about, you know, the character Katara and... Mm. Uh, we watched the series, like if we had sleepovers, we would keep watching the series over and over. And um, I was just very excited and very lucky and blessed to get the role of Katara. Mm. How was kind of night to work with as well? Were you kind of flicking through a script looking for the twist or something? or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was actually a twist in the film. It wasn't at the end, it was in the middle. It was a dance number. We did the line. twist. <laughs> did the monkey. Did the mashed potato. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing. You're stone faced. Um, yeah, no, it was one of those things. You know, it's based off the animated series, so there's definitely, you know, a, kind of a strict structure to the film already. And uh, mm. you know, what he really kind of, you know, was able to to put into the in, into the the live action adaptation was, you know, really a condensed version of the animated series. And it was fun. It was it was amazing to get to work with the director of of Knight's Caliber, someone you know that we've respected mm -hmm. and uh, admired his works for for years now, and been waiting for his next film to come out and see what he's going to do next. And uh, it was it was very exciting. But I mean, he's also you know a director that you know people say you know he does twists in all his movies, but I mean it's like where it really was the twist in Signs or you know like I, I, it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, there's like there's a, a given you know like uh, kind of gimmick to his work it's not that it's he tells a story so mm -hmm. compelling that you're on the edge of your seat until the end of the film and I think that's what a film should do